Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Proud to come on out of the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and this is Rudy's Rant, where we talk facts over feelings, baby. Let's get to it. But before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. Be sure to become a member. Check out our merch, Unstoppable line that we have on in the description. So check that out as well. If there's something that you like, give it a grab, man. It's been my clothing line for quite some time so give it a give it a try i really appreciate y'all and of course become a member of this channel let's talk here cheryl swoops is back again i'm i'm convinced at this point that all she does is she does this all for attention she is the definition of an attention whore yeah i said it she's an attention whore she wants the attention and we're going to give it to her because she keeps asking for it. She keeps making outrageous comments that are just unbelievably stupid. And it it never seems to stop when it comes to Cheryl Swoops. In in a time where there's nothing really to talk about, she has to come talking. She has to come with some new stupid statement. And it it, it is clear that no matter what she says, she has problems with, with everything Indiana Fever related. She has problems with Caitlin Clark. No matter what she says, it it doesn't matter at this point. There's always something new that's going to come out of Cheryl Swoops' mouth that is, quite frankly, inflammatory, disrespectful, and completely wrong and filled with fucking lies. It is She is a walking lie. She is, I, I mean, I've never heard someone get away with lying so much in my life in sports. Her recent comment, speaking on levels to this with Cheryl Swoops and Terika, Terika Foster Brasby podcast. Never seen this podcast, don't care about this podcast. But if you notice that every one of these podcasts involving women, involving women's basketball, they always somehow manage to come back to how do we get attention and how do we get noticed? Well, this is how we do it. We make statements that are lies because then you'll get people like me, people like Ben, people like, you know, Chicks Dig Scars, all these different podcasts who will now respond to you because we're going to combat and, and respond to your bullshit. But it's designed around Caitlin Clark and anything Caitlin Clark related. It is unreal. She can't even take a flipping vacation for without being bothered nonstop. If you've noticed, I'm putting out other content besides Caitlin Clark. I'm trying to, but you keep dragging me back in. I will give Caitlin Clark content as it comes, but this is like a nonstop thing where they want to stay relevant. So how do they stay relevant? Talk about Caitlin. This Caitlin. Attach someone to Caitlin. And, and make it about that person while dissing Caitlyn, while somehow attaching it to Caitlyn. So what she said right now, Swoops questioned the franchise's treatment of Kelsey Mitchell, who is currently on, on it was currently an unrestricted free agent. Okay, let's explain something. How, how did, what, what did they do wrong, uh, Cheryl? What did they do wrong? I'm I'm curious. Um, what have they done to Kelsey Mitchell? I, I'm just I just gotta know. I gotta know what they've done because the four-time WNBA champion claimed that Mitchell didn't receive the recognition she deserved during Caitlin Clark's rookie season with the franchise. Here is her comment. Personally, here's what I where I think the Fever didn't do a very good job, and that was with Kelsey Mitchell who's an unrestricted free agent. Swoop said, because Kelsey Mitchell had a hell of a season this season, and I don't think she got that credit, that, the credit that she deserved. What does that mean? What, what, what credit did she not get? I, I, I'm wondering, what credit did she not get? She's trying her best to put noise out there And she wants Kelsey Mitchell to hear it because she thinks Kelsey Mitchell's stupid 
And she thinks Kelsey Mitchell hasn't figured out the game by now, for which let's paint the picture that Caitlin Clark is keeping you down. When the reality is the Indiana Fever prior to Caitlin Clark were utterly horrendous. Kelsey Mitchell has been on the Indiana Fever for seven years. 2018. And what was Indiana's record in 2018? Anyone's guess? Six and 28. What was their record in 2019? 13 and 21. How about 2020? Six and 16. How about 2021? Six and 26. How about in 2022? Five and 31. 23. This is after they drafted Aaliyah Boston, 13 and 27. And finally, last year, 20 and 20, and a spot in the WNBA playoffs. So, how are they keeping Kelsey Mitchell down? Cheryl Swoops, dare I ask, what is your newest lie that you will come up with? And if you want to go look a little bit deeper, you can look at the fact that Kelsey Mitchell has basically been the exact same player. Since 2020 through 2023, averaging between 17.9 and 18.4 points per game, shooting between 43.1 and 44.8% from the field, and 33.5 and 40.9% from three-point range. Those are her numbers. That's who she's been for four years before Caitlin Clark arrived. And in the one year that Caitlin Clark is here, Kelsey Mitchell took the most shots she's ever taken in a season. She's had her highest shooting percentage at 46.8%. She's had her second highest three-point shooting season at 40.2%. I mean, she's had her, her highest two-point effective field goal shooting percentage at 55.9%. She's had her highest two-point field goal shooting percentage at 52.3%. I, I mean. She's had her lowest turnover number at 1.6 turnovers per game. She averaged her most points at 19.2 points per game. And she played her lowest minute number since 2019, playing 32 minutes. So she played 32 minutes, her lowest average minutes per game, and had her highest scoring season in her lowest minutes per game since year three, because the year two, one and two, she averaged 12 and 13 points a game. So since she's been on that 18 point per game trajectory and, and average, she has played her lowest minutes and scored her most points. So tell me again, Cheryl, how did they not recognize her? How? In fact, she was their leading scorer for most of the season until the last game. Till the last game. She and Caitlin finished, I think, what, two points apart? Here are some of the comments that from other people on, on, on X and Twitter or whatever. Jesus, that hater is still trying to tamper after last season. She didn't make enough of a fool of herself, I guess. Of course, our girl Cheryl was trying everything in her power to dissuade Kelsey Mitchell from re-signing with the fever. It's funny because they were saying how she didn't deserve to be an all-star earlier in the year, but now she doesn't get enough credit. I can't stand Swoops, though, and I'm from Houston, another one said. If Swoops is not going to be happy when – if Swoops is not going to be happy until Caitlin Clark doesn't have anyone to call a supporting cast, she's in for many, many miserable years watching the WNBA, another one. Of course, the new podcast had to mention C Caitlin Clark. Of course it did. Their podcast don't survive without mentioning her every third word. I'm glad you shared the article and not the clip because she won't be getting views this way. I won't watch it. I wouldn't be surprised if she said NS, Melissa Smith is who we should focus on. LOL. I can't with that woman and all her groupies. I, I'm it, it is it is. Remember, this is the same person that said there's a lot of shit going on that other fever players are like, this ain't where I want to be. So you have players that are very significant on this Indiana Fever team that are like, I don't, I don't think this is where I want, I want to be this year. She just makes this crap up. 
just let's, let's call it what it is. She makes this shit up. It's all garbage. It's all bogus. Her entire purpose is to try to down Indiana in any which way she can. Caitlin Clark won the rookie of the year, Cheryl. Should have been unanimous. She got one idiot who didn't vote for her. She finished fourth in WNBA MVP voting. She's first team all WNBA. All of these things as a rookie. She set or did firsts for like 67 different categories. Records or like the, the, the fastest to do something in like 67 different things. She led the league in assists. She has the most points ever by a rookie. She's, she has the most assists ever by a WNBA player. And I'm sure you guys will go then mention, people like her will go say, oh, well, she also had the most turnovers ever in WNBA history. Okay, great. Ooh, I hope you have that same energy on Juju Watkins, who had nine turnovers in her first college game this year, and she's not the point guard. And she doesn't handle the ball the way Caitlin Clark handles the ball. And she doesn't create opportunity for her teammates the way Caitlin Clark does. And, yeah, you'll come back and say she's a sophomore in college. I'm sure that will be your excuse. That will be what you have to say. You know, I mean, hey, it's what you do. But you love to lie. You love to make up stories. You like to create bogus nonsense. You want to create drama. You would love to see Kelsey Mitchell sign anywhere else besides Indiana. Guess what, Cheryl? She's going to resign with Indiana. I don't know this for a fact. But she'd be absolutely out of her mind not to. She found her role. She finally understands what her place is on this team. She finally sees the light. Because in the first half of the year, I, I, I gather, she probably wasn't all that happy. But winning changes how you act. Winning changes your thought process. When you're winning, it's hard to argue that something's going wrong. I mean, mind you, your coach was completely incompetent, and they probably could have won more. But at the same time, she's had her best season in her career. And you're trying to say that she hasn't gotten the credit she deserves? Newsflash, they cannot resign her right now. I don't know if you know that, Cheryl, but the free agency window doesn't open until January. And new contracts can't sign until February 1st. That is the WNBA calendar. This is not like the NBA where the finals end in the middle of June or end of June and free agency starts like two weeks later. There's a gap in the WNBA. Hell, half the teams still don't have a coach. Half the team, well, five now, five teams, which is five of 12, five of 13, still don't have a coach. But you want to sit here and jump on. Why aren't you more concerned about that? You want to jump on here and talk about Kelsey Mitchell didn't receive credit? Are you are you high? How much credit we gave? We gave Kelsey Mitchell nothing but credit for the second half of the season. She was incredible. Incredible. But no, this is how it works for Cheryl Swoops. This is how it works for her. She is a nonstop hater. She has to, she's always trying to damage this franchise. She's always trying to damage Caitlin Clark. Why isn't she talking about that on any other player, on any other team? Because it's because no one would care. Because nobody would give a crap. The only person, only people you can talk about are people in Indiana so that people will notice because people care. If she starts speaking about Nalissa Smith and starts saying that, well, you know, she was really, really good, blah, 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 what do you think is going to happen? People like me are going to respond to that nonsense too. If she starts saying, well, Leah Boston is the reason that Caitlin Clark was, what do you think is going to happen? We will respond to that because everyone knows the truth except you. Or you just like to lie and create stories and create drama because you want Caitlin Clark to fail. You want the Indiana Fever to fail. But guess what, Cheryl? If Caitlin Clark fails, the WNBA fails. The WNBA will fail if Caitlin Clark fails. It cannot sustain itself much longer. 
The NBA will only keep holding this nut for so long. If there's no Caitlin Clark, your private chats go bye bye. They're gone. If Caitlin Clark is gone, your big TV deal gets adjusted. The w, the NBA will say, ah, ah, ah. We're getting some of that money back. In fact, we're the ones giving it to you, so we're just not going to give it to you. And I'm sure they can. It's the NBA. They can do whatever they want. Cheryl Soups, you're always here again. First thing, you know, I know, Caitlin, 25 point, 25 shot, 20, 25 years old, 40 shots a game. She's in her fifth or sixth year. She's a bully. She pushes off every single time. There's problems in the locker room. There's always another story. I'm sorry, but you did say she would be your starter for the All-Star team, uh, even though you didn't have Angel Reese on it, and yet you still said that Angel Reese was your rookie of the year until game 30, I guess. Did you ever change your mind there either? I, I I don't know. You live in a land of delusion. You live in your 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 your, your narrow wall. Apparently, you grew up around nothing but white people, and now the white people all hate you. So now you have to be the anti and and take the the approach of all white is bad. All white people suck. All white people are racist. Blah 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 blah. blah. That's what you do. You got your blinders on to the world. And this is now, now you're a BLM movement. Now you're a black power movement. Now you're everything black. I mean, mind you, you're the same woman that was married to a man, divorced, had children, divorced your man to get with a woman. And now you're with a man again. Like, do you even, do you, do you, do you or I don't even know. You went from man to woman to man to, I, I, I don't know. Are you, how confused are you in life, Cheryl? How confused are you in life? You sound like the most bitter human being on the face of the planet that we have ever seen. I have never seen a person so bitter. It's sad. You're sad. Pathetic. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't done so yet, be sure, be sure to like me. Pound the like button. Subscribe. And, of course, jump on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe over there, too, as we are dropping content there as well. Come a member. We appreciate you. Love you. Facts over feelings. Come on now.